Hi dear friends, so we all have a very big problem. Do you all remember how many username and password we all have? Email accounts, personal, and I have a business account. I have many trial accounts, so many account and password that needs to be remembered. So today, in this video, my focus is to introduce you a very good password manager that I am using it for quite a while. The software name is KeePass and as I mentioned, it's an open source, benefit of an open source in most cases. You can, if you are very keen on the security, you can verify the code of the software and ensure that it is not leaking any of your information. And in the first part of the uh, video, I'm explaining how can you install and configure and add password into a password manager tool called KeePass and the second section of the video so how can you import the excel file into the KeePass password manager instead of manually typing all of them if you have like say for example 10 to 20 passwords it's not easy to type without mistakes so you can import from the excel if you're saving it in excel directly to the KeePass manager so let's get into the video and see how can we manage the passwords efficiently with a single master password. Uh, without further ado, let us download the KeePass software. So the easiest, as always, just go to Google and say download KeePass. So it's an open source uh, software to manage the password. And the beauty about this product is like it has got in two versions. One is installable version. The other one is you can just download the zip file and extract the file into any of the folder in your Windows 10 machine. And then you can start a DXE without installing software. So I'm installing uh, since I have downloaded the installable version onto the Windows machine. Leave everything default unless you have any specific reasons. Let's open it. So now the first step for you to create a database for the password. So just click new and fill the information what it asked during the wizard. This is very important that you must remember this pass password. This is the master password for the password database files so this master password is something that you need to keep a note and there are some additional settings if you are really keen in going through it you are welcome to go through but otherwise leave the default that will be good enough for you to secure your password encrypted and safe on the left side of the password manager you have got database under which multiple folders you can also create groups to arrange the password in a much better manner and in each group you can add any number of new password entries so I'm going to enter my entry under the my emails wherein I'm going to enter my gmail account details not real and then click on the three dots and it will allow you to type the password there so ensure that you're typing it right and then you have few more options at the bottom if you want to leave the url entry right there you can do then you can also enter some nodes and on the left under the database if you want to add more groups you can do that where i have added my bank my office and um, so many other defaults available and the beauty is like if you click on the database and keep searching it will search the whole database and bring you the matched results so i'm as i mentioned uh, during the introduction that we save most of us save the password either in a notepad file or something similar or a, to an extent some people get into an excel file and keep everything there and they also put a password for the excel file which is safe but uh, not completely so if you have the passwords arranged something similar to it in an excel you can easily import that password 
into the KPASS software very easily. So in this section of the video, I'm going to show you how can you import the Excel information into the password file. So I'm creating a new password database. You can follow the same step that we have created earlier and arrange the Excel similar to what is displayed there. Title, username, password, URL and notes. And you can see that I have modified the description into title and the username let it be the same and the password and the URL. So if you don't have the new URL entry, it's totally fine. There's no problem. But keep the title right so that you will be able to relate to the password. So click on import CSV. But as you can rightly see there, you only have an Excel file. You don't have a CSV file. So we can convert the Excel into CSV very easily. Choose save as and to the same location and save as type you select CSV and then click save. This process will con convert the Excel file into a CSV file and save under the location that you choose to save it. It will show some warning which is absolutely fine. You can ignore them and then come back to the import stage and select the CSV that we created and say OK. Now it will show you the file content under the CSV and it will arrange according to what we have given there like title, username and password and URL similar to what you are seeing in the original interface. Say so, OK. So now this will complete the import process. Some of us are not good at you know creating a very strong passwords so you can take the help of this password tool it has got a generate password option and it will generate the password for you and then you can use the password for any application that you want to secure with a strong password so now we have seen how can we efficiently manage the password using kpass and make use of them it's free and uh, what I usually recommend for everybody is like if you have a password file, make multiple copies because you will be keep updating it. So if you want the previous version of the password file, it won't be available in most cases. So keep a, keep a backup or a couple of backups of the password file probably every month or at least every six months. How, and again, depends upon how often you update it so that it becomes easy for you to recover the previous version in case there is a need. If you like the video, do not forget to subscribe the channel and I will be coming back with more and more useful video for you in the future. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. See you.